How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today we're going to take a look at the load event inside JavaScript. Um, so basically the load event allows you to react to whenever a resource and its dependent resources have um, finished loading. So um, for example, we're going to look at two things today. The first one being um, when the entire page has loaded and the second one being when an individual image has finished loading. Um, so um, here we have two images on this HTML page. Um, so basically these are quite large images here and um, inside the developer console um, I've got the, um, the network speed um, set as being fast 3G instead of online. So by default it's online and that is a fast connection. Um, setting it to fast 3G means it's going to be a much slower internet speed or a much slower network speed. So um, let's just go inside um, the HTML for this document. So it looks like this right now. Um, so we have we have these two images here. We have um, Hong Kong and purple trees. So um, we've also got a, a script tag. So inside here we're gonna um, just add an event listener to the window object. So um, we're gonna add the load event um, to the window. So we're going to um, type down here, we're going to say window.addEventListener we're going to pass load inside here. So we're saying when the window loads, so finishes loading, um, we're going to execute this function um, right here. So um, by load it means once all the HTML is being loaded, once all the JavaScript, CSS, images, anything dependent on the page, once that is done it's going to run this function right here. So in this case it's going to be these two CSS files, sorry, um, that single CSS file and the icon as well as these two images. So we're going to alert to the user um, page is loaded. Actually let's just go with loaded for now. So we'll say loaded just loaded. So I can save this and refresh the browser with the um, with the slow network speed we see that the images are going to load up quite slowly. So we have the first one coming through right now and we can see right here in the waterfall we can see it's still loading and all that stuff so um, still no alert message so still waiting on the event to actually fire off. Won't be too long now. Um, but yes so as we approach the end of this load we get a message that says boom loaded. So the page has now finished loading and we get the actual message right there. So um, that is the, the basics of the load event. But as I said, you can also apply this to images themselves. So images and scripts you can apply um, this load event too. So um, for example, let's alert a different message for each one of these images as they load up. So we have here Hong Kong and we have purple trees. So let's just first get a reference to both of these images inside the JavaScript. So I'm just going to create a new constant down here. I'm going to call this one my img number one which is equal to document element by id. We're going to pass in here um, my img. Okay so this is now that one right there. We can do the same thing for my image number two put number two inside here. So now we're going to uh, basically add the load event to each one of these images. So let's just first add it to the image one. So we can copy this, put it inside here and we can just say for the alert message we can say um, Hong Kong is loaded. Alright so that's the first Hong Kong image. Um, for the second one dot add event listener we can once again add the load event and a function this one is going to be alert we can say some purple trees just keep in mind here that um, the browser is actually going to see the JavaScript um, before or right after it finds the images initially so um, this means that this JavaScript is going to run it's going to run before the images have been loaded because um, these are going to be loaded asynchronously. Now this obviously would depend on the browser but I'm pretty confident that most browsers are going to run the JavaScript 
before it finishes loading these images in most cases, especially with a slow speed, um, a slow network speed like me right now. So we have these two event listeners right here and we should see these, uh, these alert boxes when they both get loaded. So I can save this and refresh my browser. Scroll up. We can now wait for the first one. So it's loading, it's loading, it's loading. And we're almost done. So once it loads, we should get a message. And we get Hong Kong is loaded. So we have that first one right there. We can now wait for the second one. And as you can imagine, once it loads up, we will see um, purple trees or something like that. Loads up and we get some purple trees. So we can see there how you can use the load event inside JavaScript. Um, I think definitely quite useful for web applications more than websites. So maybe user interfaces or something like that. But that's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later.